Hello to my third, fourth, and fifth grade students. Welcome back to STEAM Enrichment. Once again, I'm Mrs. Kessel. Let's see what your assignment is this week. First things first, I've noticed some of you have not been able to get to my video lessons. And here's the reason. You have just been looking in the overdue or the upcoming section and clicking that. When you do that, it takes you directly to the place where you turn your work in, but it doesn't take you to my lesson. Some other people have been going to their updates, their recent activity, and just clicking on it. That doesn't work either. Here's what you need to do. You're going to go to courses. When you click courses, it shows 12 classes, four plus four plus four, that's 12. Unfortunately, my class is your 13th class. So you don't see my class. Here's what you have to do. You click my courses right here. It's under your name. Click my courses. And then you can see all of your classes, okay? I have a lot. You're gonna click this gray button that says reorder courses. And then all of your classes are going to come up and there's this line. It says courses that appear below this line will not appear in the courses drop down. So unfortunately, my class is like your 13th or your 14th class. So what you have to do is you have to take my class. Let's pretend this is my STEAM class. You have to take my class and drag it up to the top. You're going to put it right under your classroom teacher, okay? And then you're going to click the X to close it. Now when I click courses, there is that class that I dragged up, which should be your STEAM class. This is what the STEAM classes look like. It has your grade in a circle and it says STEAM enrichment. So once again, you go to courses, you click my courses, you click reorder courses, and then you find my class and you drag it up to the top, 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 and put it under your classroom teacher, okay? They should be first, then your specials. You can do this with all of your specials. You can drag your specials up. Some people have put them in like, okay, my Monday special goes first, my Tuesday special goes next. You can do it however you'd like, but make sure that STEAM enrichment is up there so that you see it. Once you've done that, you're going to go to my class I'm going to go to fourth grade, but they all look the same, okay? Oh, no, it's a bad gateway. What's going on, Schoology? Let's try that again. Okay, that's better. So now you're in my course. It looks like this. It has my thing you've seen in the updates, and it has all these folders, okay? You really don't need the folders because the buttons link to the folders, so when you come to my class every week, you do two things in a row. First, you click on this purple button. And when you click on it, there will be a message, a little short video message. It's usually like one or two minutes, and it's just kind of me saying hi and going over some directions. Then you go back, use the back arrow, the back button, and then you go to the blue folder. In the blue folder, I have your assignment for each week. So here you can see I have week 10, that's this week. Here's last week, week nine. Here's the week before that, week eight. And here's old assignments, okay? So once I go back a couple weeks, I just start putting them in this folder. So next week, week eight, will probably be in the old assignments folder. When you come to the assignments, you click on it. And then you see the assignment and any links, and my video will always be here, okay? So today, you should be watching the whole video. You're doing that now. And then you follow the directions in the video to do your work. This week is all about turning in missing work. I have had so many people turn in great things, and then I had some people turn in nothing to me. So right now I'm going to show you how to find your missing work in all of your classes. You can do this with every single class, art, gym, music, media, your um, classroom, everywhere, okay? 
So I'm going to view this course as a student. Let me find a student I wanted to show you because this person has done a great job. Okay, so this is what a kid's screen looks like. In every Schoology class, under the teacher's profile picture, you're going to see here it says grades. You're going to click on grades. And then when you do, a screen like this will come up, okay? And here it has all of your assignments with links to get to them, okay? So all of the assignments we've done so far, and it has your scores. Next to an assignment, I know this is an assignment because it's clickable, if there is a dash and nothing else, that means it is missing. You did not turn it in yet. You have not turned this in. That means you need to click on the link and watch the video and follow the directions and turn your work in. If next to an assignment, you have a score. That's the score that the teacher gave you. The green is what you earned. The gray is how many you could have earned. So Zainab did her sending me an email assignment. She got two points out of two points. She did a great job. If we look at the next one, the Google Slides pre-test, once again, that's a link you can click to get to it. We see these four squares and we see this paper on the either side of the scores, okay? The little paper means you turned something in. So you submitted a Google Doc or a Google Slide or a photo. You've turned something in. That's what that means. This stands for the rubric. I used a rubric to grade this assignment. If I were to click that rubric, it would show you how you were graded. So we can see for inserting, a te inserting text into a text box, she did that correctly. Changing the font, she did that correctly. Changing the font size, she tried it, but she didn't get it quite right. So you can see exactly how you were graded, okay? And if you just want to see your work, you can click on that little, um, you can click on the, assignment name and it will take you back to your work, okay? This is a teacher screen, so it looks a little different than yours would look. Now here we see for this lesson, there's a blank line, which means she hasn't been scored yet, but there is a paper. So that means I can see that Zainab turned in this assignment. I just haven't had a chance to grade her on it yet, okay? So if you see something like this, this means I haven't graded it yet, but you turned it in. If you see something like this, this means I haven't graded it yet and you haven't turned it in. Also on here, if your teachers leave you any comments on your assignments, this is how you see them. I'm sure some of your teachers have said, well, I left you a note, I left you a comment. This is how you get to them. You go to grades, and then you can see the comments that they have left, okay? So if I were this student, I would go to the lesson that I have missing. So the only thing she has missing is this week's assignment, which obviously is missing because she hasn't had a chance to do it yet because I'm still making the video, okay? What you are going to do this week is you are going to go into your grades and you're going to see what work you are missing, okay? So if you have something you have not turned in, I expect you to go do that today. This is kind of a catch-up week. Okay, so if you had not done your Google Slides pretest or your Google Slides lesson one or Google Slides lesson two, this is your opportunity to do them. I want your missing work to get done. Okay, if you finish all of your missing work, then you can go and play this game called Turkey Touchdown. All right, Turkey Touchdown is a game on ABC and it's a math game. You guys are third, fourth, and fifth graders, so I expect you to choose multiplication or division. You don't need to practice adding and subtracting. And I would like my third graders to start with easy, my fourth graders to start with medium, and my fifth graders to start with the level for hard, okay? To prove to me that you played the game, when you get to the end of the game and it gives you your final score, you're gonna take a screenshot, or you can just use a phone and take a picture and you're going to submit the picture 
um, how you turn things in on Schoology normally, okay? But first comes missing work. I will not give you points for the turkey touchdown if you have missing assignments. So once again, make sure you don't have any missing work. So um, I can choose someone else. Let's see. Let's choose Jenna. Let's see what Jenna has. Jenna's been doing a great job. Okay. I can see that Jenna has been doing a really good job with her work, but she does have one thing listed as missing, so she would go and do that. Jenna's also been taking time to be in my STEAM club and doing extra stuff for me. So this would be a perfect opportunity for her to back up and catch up because she is one of my top students. She does such a great job. So I know a lot of you don't mean to be missing my work, but you have been. So I want you to take this week as a week to reset and get your work turned in, okay? If you have questions, you can always send me a message, send me an email, um, and just let me know what you need help with, and I'm happy to help you. Parent-teacher conferences are on Thursday, which is tomorrow. I'm making this video on Wednesday. On Thursday and on next Tuesday, I will be available for conferences, okay? So I will have a Zoom link open for you parents if you have questions for me about your students' work um, or students, you may stop by if you have questions about your work, okay? So get caught up on that those missing assignments. Most of you are doing a really good job. It happens. We get behind sometimes. Let's take this week to get caught up, okay? See you soon.